Hey Aquarius, this is Jamie, Little Red Tarot. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. This is for love, couples, romance, relationships. This is if you are with somebody, talking to somebody, dating somebody, married to somebody, this is for you. If you are in the singles department, and I'm in very, very much in the singles department, not, I'm not even emailing no, nobody. I did a singles reading for y'all. I was trying to do a three in one, but I guess Mercury going into the shadow retrograde period. Mercury, did you get that? Mercury going into the shadow retrograde period was messing up with my recording, so it kept cutting off at weird places. So this month, the love singles, career, and couples are all individual for Aquarius. I'm going to see if I can get it out for Cancer as a three in one. So stick around and see what's going on. Again. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020, Love Couples. If you have not subscribed to the Little Red Tarot family, please do so by the end of this video. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can get all the notifications of when I decide to go ahead and post. Please like, share, and comment. If you've already subscribed to the Little Red Tarot family, thank you so very much. Please like, share, and comment. This is a general reading. Keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate. If it resonates great, if not, let it skate. Your message, use your intuition, put it where it fits. Do not force it to fit. Tarot should it help not hinder. If you don't like the outcome, you're the captain of your own ship. You have your own free will. Change the outcome. These are for entertainment purposes only. If you don't like the advice, if you don't like what it's saying, change it. It's wonderful. That's that's the great thing, okay? The wonderful, wonderful things he does. So, I have no idea where that came from. Timeless reading whenever you come across this when you're meant to hear it. Energies might resonate backwards, verse, backwards, vice versa, however, you, however it fits, okay? So if I pull a major arcana card, say lovers, that's a Gemini, it could be in your chart, it could be who you're dealing with, it could mean that you have those aspects, too many of those aspects, we'll just have to see what plays out here. Let's see, everything you need to know is down in the description box below. The cards that I use, my email is down there, private readings, one question for 15, two questions for 20. Donations are greatly appreciated. Those links are down there too. And there's a free astro chart link. So you get your free astro charts. Find your moon, your rising, your housing, and your feminine and your masculine. Speaking of feminine and masculine, don't get so caught up on the he, she. If it's a queen, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a she. It could be a he. Unless I specifically say this is a female or this is a male, it could be the queen of cups represents a male in your life. So it's just the energy, because we all have feminine, masculine, yin, yang, all that, right? Darkness, balance, all that. Okay, so I like to start with a little prayer. Whoever your higher power is, if you could please join me for just a second. Lord in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus for the Holy Spirit. I want to thank you for this day and thank you for our blessings. I want to thank you for this gift that you give me. I want to thank you for speaking to me and through me. I want to thank my spirits, my personal spirits, the spirits of those who are listening, and whatever message we need to get across. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, Aquarius. Now, I'm sorry that it took me so long. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, so I have like this celiac, like gluten allergy thing. And I discovered like that sweet Hawaiian roll sandwich bread. So yeah, so I went to town on that and uh, it laid me up for a little bit. So, this is for <laughs> Aquarius. So I'm going to be rising. Oh, but it was so worth it. Oh. Man, okay, so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, June 2020, Love Relationships. What messages do we have? For my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, June 2020, who are talking to somebody. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. What messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love Relationships, Couples? Talking, okay. Do, 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 do. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it. I caught him. I did it. Okay. That was a crazy slippity slope. All right, one more. Aquarius, joy and stability. 
three. Yay! So, that means, what it obviously indicates that your relationship is strong. You have joy. It's, it's a stable relationship. You are happy. There's a lot of joy involved in this relationship. So, let's go ahead and pull a few more cards and expand on that. That's a good card. Three cards, please, for carrots. Okay, there they are. <laughs> Did you see that? All right. We have win or lose, dreams coming true, and master. Okay, so whoever you're talking to, what, whatever you just, you've just started talking, you maybe just started dating, or maybe you're thinking about taking the relationship to the next level, you're engaged, or you're talking about getting engaged, you're talking about moving in together whatever it is, you're like, man, I'm so happy. I really am. I'm so full of joy. And I really think this is the real deal. It, it's a stable relationship. And you're like, man, this is, I believe he's the dream come true. So you know what? Win or lose, I'm jumping into this. I'm doing this. I'm going to say yes. And you're going to master your own heart. You're going to live by faith, not by fear. You're not going to let fear make you lose this opportunity and that's awesome okay i'm a big believer and i'd much rather say well i did and not what if what if i had chosen to take this i don't want to say that at the end i don't say what if i may have the t-shirt and the mug and the uh, leftover souvenirs you know but well you know in hindsight maybe not but you know what Check out this story that I have for you this one time, okay? And it may hurt. If it doesn't work out, it may hurt, okay? We've all had our heart broken. But everything puts you where you're supposed to be. You're everywhere. You're where you are when you're supposed to be. And you can't grow if you don't have growing pains. I mean, I'm sorry. I know that sounds so cheesy, but it really is. If you don't get your heart, if you don't love, you get your heart broken, then you don't know really what love and heartbreak is. You love better and stronger when you have favorite, when you learn what love is. Because there's different levels of love. So when you finally figure out what love is, which came from heartbreak and loving too strong, not loving enough, just whatever it is you've been through, some have less, less, less lessons to learn than others. Okay, but that's, and you repair your heart and you learn how to love yourself. And then in return, someone else comes in and knows how to love themselves. And so two people love themselves, they just enhance each other. No one's supposed to, meant, no one's meant to fix each other. You're not supposed to be waiting for the person to come fix you. You're supposed to be whole. They're supposed to be whole and then you enhance each other. So, this is, yes, yes. I mean, th that's all I can say. This is, is an awesome opportunity. If you've been looking for the answer, if you've been fearful and weren't sure if you wanted to say yes to whatever, whatever this yes is, whether it's yes to a date. I mean, I know a first date can be the scariest thing after having your heart broken. And you want joy and stability. And you're like, man, win or lose. And you're like, could... Man, I could lose, but it could be my dream come true, you know? And I'm saying do it. Go for it. Um, I, let's see what they let's see what we've got to say. Let's get some clarifications for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Love Relationship. What message what extra message of clarifications do we have for my Aquarius friend Sun Moon Rising? June 2020 Love Relationships. Thank you, Spirits. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me, Kimmy. Love relationships for Korea, Sun Moon Rising. Oops. June 2020. One more shuffle. I didn't like that one. Yeah. Didn't like that one either. There we go. Thank you. Remember, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. Let me know how this resonates down there. Okay.
okay? High honors, right? Which is what this joy and stability is to you. And it, you know, your love lifting me higher, right? I mean, that when you're in love, you're walking on cloud nine, just you feel like the richest person in the world, right? I mean, nothing can bring you down. I mean, that's where you are right now, okay? And you're like, God, I'm so happy. But, you know, you're afraid, win or lose, right? You're like, you're caught in between all this. All right, three cards, please. Clarification. Aquarius, I'm rising in my relationship. Thank you, my and clarification. Three cards, please. Whoa, okay. Alright, we have, I don't take reversals, military, unexpected money, and big luck. Okay, so, somebody is saying yes to a military man. They're getting ready to join the military or they're already in the military and they're getting ready to, you know, ship out to the next base just because they're moving from, you know, where you're at to another state, you know, and they said, I want you to go with me, marry me, say yes, or come with me and we'll get an apartment off base, whatever. I mean, this is the, yes, 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 yes. I mean, the unexpected money, big luck. I mean, maybe he's getting a promotion. Um, you know, and like I said, if you enhance each other's relationship, if you enhance each other, because you're both whole, who knows what, you know, skyrockets he'll go in, in his career. It's amazing what having a good partner behind you can lift you up to do, especially when you're in a specific career. And I'm saying... I personally think the answer is yes. Win or lose, you should go for it. But I don't know each individual's relationship. I have no idea. So, again, this is where your free will comes in. But the cards are saying yes, yes, yes. This is your lucky break. This is their lucky break. You're going to feel like the richest person in the world. This is this relationship you've been waiting for. And it's funny that the military is on top, win or lose. Like, you're going to go into this, you know, love is a battlefield, right? You're going to go into this battlefield. You're like, you know what? Win or lose, I'm doing it. This is my dreams come true. I feel so rich. I'm going to stop living in fear, and I'm going to accept this as my lucky break. And so finally, finally met someone. And like I said, it could be just as simple as saying yes to a first date and it's saying yes this is your lucky break whoever this is for if you're talking to somebody you know who you are i don't um but yes whatever the scenario is whether it's an engagement or moving in with somebody i mean it's like i said it's your own individual relationship i don't know i mean if you're obviously in a bad relationship then the answer is no i mean obviously if you're not happy no but this is for the ones who so happy you were so happy you were so happy you know and you could then be and you're like you know what i'm doing it i'm not gonna let fear take me away from the joy and stability that life has to offer yeah i might get hurt it's kind of like you know falling off your bike and this great knee but man wasn't it fun getting it? it it's yeah come on come on aquarius all right what advice do we have for aquarius summon rising june 2020 love relationship I mean, this is, I mean, I feel the excitement for you. I'm so happy. I'm kind of slightly jelly because you know that I'm walking on sunshine. Yeah. Right? You know that feeling? Doesn't it feel good? Woo! Oh, yeah. This is awesome. You're like, man, there's that party that's like waiting for their shoes to drop, the balloon to pop, you know, whatever metaphor you want to use. But you decided that you're not going to let that hold you back this time. And you're going to really go for it. And. The universe, I feel like, is saying yes. 
Okay, so let's see. What advice do we have for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising June 2020 love relationships? One more shuffle, please. feeling and even if, like I said even if you just someone asked you on a date there's still that we factor you know because you maybe you've had this eye on this person for a little while or you know maybe calm is not a weakness okay hmm I need a clarification on that clarification on calm is not a weakness whoa that's quite a bit of uh, clarification there thank you Funeral, court, mean female, a long road. Okay, this is saying that you've been through it. I mean, maybe a death, you know, this is a funeral, death, um, this is uh, Scorpio. So, and it's not a literal funeral, it's not a little death, even though this is in the past. So, this is your a past relationship, a divorce, and it, and it may be maybe you buried somebody in the past. This is past history okay this is what's led you to where you are now so you put a death to something a rest to something a divorce because the reason I say divorce is because here's the court okay so if somebody went through a nasty divorce okay and you came out stronger you know thank you for making me stronger a little bit wiser right thanks for making me a fighter okay but it was a long road Okay, so you're here and you're like calm. It's like I'm not getting overly excited. Yes, my heart's doing putter, 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 and I'm really excited. And I'm, you know, but I'm going to remain calm. I'm not going to just jump into things. I'm going to go about it, you know, differently this time. Calm is not a weakness, you know, quiet is not a weakness you learn a lot more things when you're calm quiet and listening instead of speaking panicking so it's okay to remain calm i'm not sure who needs to hear that why you know it's okay to calm it's okay to be calm not, i'm not sure what that's about I'd, I'd like to hear that down in the comments below if that resonates with somebody all right advice please okay thank you Everyone has value, absolutely. You need to remember your own worth. Everybody needs to remember their own worth. Know what you deserve. People will treat you the way that you allow them to treat you. So, you know, you're supposed to treat the golden rule. Treat others how you want others to treat you. Yes. Also, treat yourself how you want others to treat you. It's pretty simple. Give respect, demand respect, get respect. Period. Know your worth at all times. Advice for Aquarius, Sun Moon Rising, Love Relationships, June 2020. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I got a couple in my lap too. All right. We have you are never alone. Be yourself. See, set your intentions and follow the golden rule. So, as you go into this new relationship or this new step in your relationship, remember your value is just as important as his value or her value. It's okay to remain calm. You don't have to fight and yell to resolve everything. Um, you don't have to fight or yell to prove that you care. You can remain calm during the high intensity of a relationship, during the arguments, during the misunderstandings, right? There, there's, there's a certain healthy to disagreeing and hashing it out. But not fighting. You know, there's, there's going to be bickering. There might even be, you know, heavy head. But there is a healthy exchange. 
you know the difference when it crosses from healthy to an unhealthy exchange. So maybe your past relationship, they always were an unhealthy level whenever it came to y'all's disagreements. And maybe you are at that point where you're like, okay, because you have, you know, because it's a trigger reaction. If you get yelled at enough during every argument, you're on that thing, you're ready to yell back, right? So it's a trigger. So maybe you've calmed that down. You've learned how to remain calm no matter what's going on. And it's okay. You had to retrain yourself to do that. Or maybe the partner you're with is completely the exact opposite. They always remain calm. Even when you trigger, because you're, you're expecting them to yell at you. So you trigger a little bit and they look at you and go, Honey, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not, you know, I want to talk about it. And you're like, oh, they work with you on it. You know, they work with you on their triggers. They remain calm and they don't take it personally. This is something you're not used to maybe. Okay. And so, like I said, everyone has value and you deserve this kind of calmness. You deserve this kind of love and this kind of respect. And remember, you are never alone. You always have you know, God, your higher power, your spirits, your angels, your animal muses, whatever it is that you encompass yourself with, you're not alone. The universe is with you. And it's okay to be yourself. It's, this is, you are, this is an amazing relationship. They are perfectly fine with who you are. They know your value. They want you to be yourself. They want you to know that they're never going to leave you alone. That they're going to remain calm through it all. And they've set their intentions with you. And they have every intention of treating you the way that you deserve. I mean, this is, I don't know who this is and who this is for, but this is, I mean, like I said, if it's an engagement, say yes. If they say, if they said, if they asked you to marry him, say yes. If, if this is a first date, they've asked you to go out, say yes. If they've asked you to move in with you, say yes. And like I said, if, you, if you're in a bad relationship and you know who you are, the bad outweighs the good, then, you know, obviously this isn't for you. But for whoever this is for, whoever needed to hear this, yes, yes, yes. That is awesome, Aquarius. All right. Mwah. I will see you soon. Remember, like, subscribe, and share later.